Um, okay, that's you. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Okay, I am. <laughs> that's right, we gotta go through the... this area. Figure out what's going on. I'm gonna assume it's up. Um, nope, that was not the way to go. Like a rat. I can't believe I'm doing this. Um, Jonathan? Why did you pull that out? Okay. Oh, shit! Um... I'm finally free! Oh my god, what? Oh no, 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 no. I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this! What? Delaney, what the hell? Oh, I don't like this. Don't like this. Heal, Jonathan. I was gonna say he seems somewhat stronger, but maybe not stronger, just faster. Shit! There we go! Small key. No more guilt, I'm finally free. Damn. Damn, I don't know what your key is to. Maybe I should look that up. Okay, apparently the key opens a locker in the back of the Night Asylum. So, he... What, joined... the cult and they turned him? Is that what happened? I kind of want to go back up here and figure out what they have to say, but... I think I'd rather keep the momentum going. What happened? This is in this... Oh! Is this the sewer location? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like it. Excuse me, Rufus. Carter Prewin's still here. So if I... Mm, should I go up the middle? No, I want to I wanna go to the end and, and then go up. That's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna take care of the scowls. There, that was easy enough. I attracted somebody else. No? Somebody else attracted somebody else. Whoa. You're dead? Let's try this. Oh. Damn. Did that take my entire blood meter? Well, I definitely need to try that out on a larger group. But that was cool. That was definitely cool. Worth testing, although I lost all my blood. Ah, oh, damn you. You're not an easy scowl like I wanted. Shit. Damn you. Come on. I want... I just want to drink your blood. Son of a... I'll do that instead. And then I'll do that. That's what I wanted. Something else is doing a lot of screaming and I don't like it. Am I at the location? It's up there. I gotta go up there. Okay. What's happened here? 
What? What? Ah. Uh. What happened to Lottie? Holy frick. No, 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 no. All right, this would be a good group to try that on. Holy crap. No. Kill Jonathan, let's do that. Shit! 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 Oh my god. Oh my god, Lottie. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Come on, give it to me. Give me the thing. Please don't resist it. Jeez. Oh, That's not enough? I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed. Oh, Lord. Oh, good Lord. Do the thing. Shit. Let's not get ourselves stuck in the corner. I don't like this. Move, Jonathan, move. Heal yourself. Can't, I can't heal myself. Great. No. I don't like you. Get her! Know yourself. Do that. There you go. Alright, move. Move, move. Don't. Nope. That is not what I wanted. That'll give us a break. Oh, except she might reheal. Shh. Please don't reheal. Please don't reheal just because I left. Where did you go? Lottie? Did she. Where did she go? Oh my god. There she is. She did come looking for me. Oh, Garda Prewin, please come help. Come on, Jonathan. Just beat her. <laughs> oh, I got a key. Probably also to do with the night shelter. And I gotta kill you. Thank you for your assistance. Oh, where did you come from? Look, I would have let you live, but... Oh, Lottie, what happened to you? So... What is this? Is this gonna be Giselle? And that's gonna be... That's gonna be Sean Hampton. Oh, God. Don't like how this is going. I heard a baby crying. Yeah, I, I see you, Garda Prewin. How do I get... Okay. Hopefully up this way. Down here? No. Yes. Kind of. Looks like this way, but down. Yeah. Ugh, I have to get down. Is mm, here. Here we go. I gotta fight you. All right. I didn't plan this. Oh, nice. 
I like it. He's having some convulsions there, but he's fine now. Look, if you just went home and let me deal with this, I wouldn't have to kill you. Come on, Jonathan. Oh, I can't see. Yeah, I, I know. No, that's not worth it. Oh, that is Giselle. Holy shit. Giselle's dagger. That was Giselle. Lottie somehow got turned and Giselle joined the guard of Prewin? What? What happened? Um... I don't know, is her dagger any good? Blood absorption. So it's, it's like this thing, but way better. I'm still using the stake. Way better than that thing. Can I get, can I, no, I can't. They boarded it up. So uh, there's a drop down up here, I think. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I wanted to check on... I wanted to check on Miss Jillianum. Since he's gone. Make sure she's okay. Good evening, Miss Jillianum. May I come in? Of course. Uh, of course. Welcome home, my boy. I knew you'd come back to me soon. How are you? Don't you remember me, Miss Gillingham? I'm Dr. John... Dr. Tippetts. Oh, stop your jest, boy. Dr. Tippetts left the docks months ago. I heard he got a job at a fine hospital not too far from here. Who the hell just walked by the window? Um... I don't know. Do you know anything about the shelter? Have you heard anything recently concerning Sean Hampton's shelter? I've never heard that name before, I'm afraid. Re Who the hell is walking by the window? Um. Is anybody taking care of you? You're the only one I need here, my boy. Jack. No. Jack? What's wrong? Why have you left me, Jack? Why did you leave? Oh. I was alone for so long. You know I needed you. Why did you leave me? Oh, gosh. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> no. Oh. I'm sorry, Mother. I didn't mean to hurt you. What have you done, Jack? Did I not tell you how dangerous folks like that can be? You and your friends are taking a huge risk acting like this. I didn't mean to worry you. I have always tried to protect you. In my own way. If it's true, you should start by protecting yourself. You need to be more careful, Jack. You're all I have left. <laughs> oh my god. Is there anything at all I should know about this area? You stay away from that Seymour Fishburn. Boy is nothing but trouble. Poor Miss Fishburn. Not everyone's lucky enough to have a son like me. Freaking. Uh, thank you. I get so worried, Jack, when you leave me for too long. You really shouldn't spend so much time outside. She seems actually more coherent right now. Freaking Garda Prewin's being creepy out there. <laughs> like e even though she's she's like in her own delusion, she seems more coherent in it. And it looks like we're able to ask her all the questions we have before. Oh. 
Who are the more influential figures on the docks? I don't venture outside of my home too often. I don't get many visitors either. Except for that one man who comes by sometimes. What was his name? Oh, I'm sorry. What was the question again? I wanted to know who are the more influential people around here. Oh, I couldn't possibly say. Archer Woodbean has always been kind to me. Oh. He even invited me to the seasonal ball, you know. Your father forbade me to go. Oh, your poor father. Oh, how I miss him. So, did she or did she not marry? Huh. Do you recall a Martin? Martin Nightingale. Who? Martin Nightingale. He used to come here and talk to you. Is that the name of that orphan boy with the rat? He passes by my window ever so often. I don't recall ever talking to him, though. So, ask her about feeling guilty again? Why are you feeling so guilty about your son? I know my own mind, but my thoughts keep drifting away. I, I, I'm sorry. I cannot help it. I, I feel such a burden to him when he should be living his own life. No need to apologize. Oh, my boy, you're so sweet. Now, promise your old mother you won't waste your life. Live it to the fullest. Make it as beautiful as it can be. It's a gift you shouldn't squander. Hmm. I skipped it because it sounded like she was just going to say the same stuff and then she didn't. Listen to me, Enid. I want to talk to you about Jack. Your son, Jack. Can you stay focused for a few minutes? My son was the most beautiful baby in the world. When he was a boy, I told him the story of the four giants and the moon falling from the sky every night. Your son wrote this letter. Would you like me to read it to you? A letter? Really? Such formality. Just speak your mind, dear boy. You can always tell me anything. Dear mother, whatever happens to me, always remember that your son loves you. I know you did not always approve of the way I chose to live my life. No, it's not that. It's just... I know you want to make the world a better place, but I'm afraid it won't give you the chance. I recently made a terrible decision. I decided to strike back against the tyranny of the few. I know that they will retaliate, but I'm ready for whatever comes. It's okay, Jack. You're safe. <sighs> Mummy is here, and she won't let anything hurt you. Thank you for the letter, my son. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <sighs> it's still highlighted, even though we asked for Goodbye for now. Don't go out for too long, Jack. I worry something fierce when you leave the house after dark. Oh, that is not a door. We're going this way. Oh, they're passing. Okay, I thought they were passing through this window. No, they should have. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. There's no guard of pre win here, so I'm very confused. <sighs> let's let's go. Let's go kill some monsters. <laughs> I think the way to drop down is up here. Here we go. Oh no. I can just get you. Not anyone special. There we go. Shit. Alright, I need blood. Now I'm just like, every, every, every scowl that I see, I'm gonna be like, who is that? Who is this? I think it's just a normal scowl? Oh, 
Oh, you're not worth it. And I missed. Back up. There's a Swansboro medicine cart here. Huh. Oh, I don't even know if I want to go in there. This is the guy that died. Where is Ichabod? We should find him. I don't know where he hangs out. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I, g I got treatments. Oh. I didn't know that I need those, but that's nice. Yeah, we should figure out where the heck Ichabod hangs out. Oh, and there's more scales. Fine. Get him. Someone was coughing. Almost sounds like there's normal people around here. All right. Oh, this is gonna be. Bad. What on earth happened here? Whoa. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, yeah. This should open for us now. Stuff to break down. That doesn't open ever. There's nothing down there. Alright, we opened two small boxes. Two boxes? I don't think Giselle gave us a key. Alright, let's go deal with Sean. I assume he's in here. Oh god, yeah he is. Oh, you are way above my level. I should have just stunned you. That was a mistake. Oh, just, yeah, just hang out. That's fine. Hang out in that corner. <laughs> oh, 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 whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. whoa. No, no, don't like, no, 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 I can't see. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Come out here. Come out here where there's room. Come out here, Sean. Come out here. Oh, good. No. Oh, I don't like this, Sean. Please come out. No, 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 no. Come on, give me blood. There we go. Here, this seems to work. Let's do it. That helped. Wasn't ideal, but it helped. Oh, Sean. Oh. Oh. Well, that was unpleasant. I think maybe we should check on the sewer scowls. I want to know if they're okay. Are there letters or anything to, like, explain? This is still here. Maybe that should have been an indicator. I got coin and a watery, water, watery blood sample. I can't believe I'm doing this. So, our indicator for Sean going crazy was that he was being very... Looking, looking back on it, when we talked to Sean before, he's he's very calm. He's not. Um, I said he he was sounding like he was crazy when we talked to him last, and I think that that's that's the tip off. Is he's talking in a way that when we previously spoke with him, he's just not that. Um, he's not he's not that crazed of a speaker, and I, I think that was our tip off.
That was our tipper that something was wrong, cause, and I I do think they set it up well. What? What is this? Why did you shine at me? Um, cause we really only speak to Sean very briefly at the hospital, so you can't really tell if that's just how he normally is, cause he's injured. So, you know, maybe he's just tired. So they give you a little bit of time with him to kind of maybe make a judgment. You guys seem okay. Eternal gratitude for your protection, master. Where's... I want to talk to Bridget. I want to make sure... Because she might have something to say about Sean. I don't know. Your spare um... You won't talk to me anymore, will you? Let me rest now. Yeah. It's okay. That's fine. I'll let you rest. Where is Bridget, though? I would really like to talk to her again. This is the entrance, so she's not here. Oh, there you are. Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us. Mm-hmm. No, so, yeah. Thank you, old Bridget. She doesn't have anything to say. That's a little disappointing. Because if Sean's been protecting them and he's gone crazy, then um, I would think she would have something to say about it. I wonder if Jonathan's notes have anything? No, because it's just here. Oh, okay, so some of these people have a story. But you guys don't. If I just kill them, you don't get a story. If I embrace them... They do? Hold on. Hold on. I'm interested. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. I would have liked a little story for the people that we didn't embrace. That would have been nice. Okay. Well. I suppose we should, um... Someone needs to clean up this mess. Oh, or just leave it. It's probably full of infected. How do I get out of here? Alright, well that was fun. <laughs> I want to find Ichabod and then go up this way to the hospital to figure out what the heck's going on. So according to the guide that I just checked, Ichabod should be wandering around the front of the shelter, which is this area. Motored merchant services, but I don't see him anywhere. Oh, there you are. Is that you? You're drinking. You're I can't not happy. protect the whole city. It's hard enough to cover the docks by myself. Can um can I talk to you? You you need your your break. Okay. <coughs> you know, you maybe shouldn't drink that stuff. The wet boots shouldn't be fighting each other. They've got bigger problems elsewhere. Can can I talk to you? Good evening, Mr. Throckmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? I actually came to ask you. Did you see what happened to him? Actually, yes. Oh, no. He was thrown from the roof like a vulgar log. Well, great. I thought you would have some updates. Maybe I'll check next time and see. Goodbye. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. Although we slept, so he should have reset if he had more to say. That's a little disappointing. I would I would think he would definitely have something to say about the shelter. Fine. I 
I just killed one. That's all I did. I just decided to kill one. That's fine. Whatever. I'm going this way. Alright, where are we going? Okay, we're going to the hospital first before I... Oh no! Oh, that was a bad choice! That was nice. I enjoyed that. <laughs> okay. Hospital it is. Where's Lady Ashbury? Oh, she's in here now. It is good to see you again, Jonathan. How are you? I'm better than one might expect, Lady Ashbury. Dr. Swansea has asked me to investigate the recent disturbances in the hospital caused by scars. Really? What do you mean? Uh, I met a very intriguing scowl. I discovered the most intriguing scowl. An elderly woman answering to the name of old Bridget and a man who helps them remain hidden in London. Old Bridget? Peculiar name, I've never heard of her. Scowls can be peaceful, apparently. According to old Bridget, scowls can lead a peaceful existence like us. They are even able to nourish themselves by feeding on corpses and the flesh of the dead. How vile. Please, Jonathan, let's change the subject. Okay. Scowls of London have gone into hiding. Both mortals and immortals plot their extermination. Yes. Scowls are the orphans of the vampire society. They are the shame of their genitors. A disgrace to the vampire that created them. I'm not gonna explain that a little further? There is something ominous closing around me, Lady Ashbury. Something spies upon me from the shadows. Something cruel and wicked. Whatever do you mean, Jonathan? Basically the same. He's feeling the same thing that uh, Harriet felt. If Sean Hampton and Harriet were not the guilty parties, then who? I saw the bodies and the blood. Your rebirth has not gone unnoticed, Jonathan. Be extremely careful. If you get in the way of an immortal's plans. Oh, I just realized what it is that he's feeling, and, and I'm incorrect. It is not what... I don't believe it's what Harriet felt. But we'll, we will get there. We'll get there soon enough. Do you suspect somebody? Do you suspect someone? I don't know, Jonathan. I steer clear of vampire politics, especially whilst hunters roam the city's streets. Goodbye for now, my dear. That's name. it. That's all we have. That's sad. Let me check something. Yes, Jonathan? Can I help you with something? I'm better than one might expect, Lady Ashbury. Really? Okay. All right, I was wondering Goodbye if for now. she would have additional dialogue, but she does not. Let's go find Swansea. And I guess update him on the situation. Are these? Nope. Swansea. Stop walking from me. Jonathan, at last. I've been worried sick. Have you solved the case of our poor Sean Hampton? Don't worry, Edgar. The reputation of Pembroke Hospital is secure. Sean Hampton was not the guilty party. Is that true? Oh, good news. Good news indeed. Yeah, he's dead now, but you know, I found Harriet Jones. I found Harriet Jones. She's much the same old embittered woman she was, only she's been made a scowl. Her transformation did not go well. Incredible. Why not bring her here? 
we could learn so much by studying her condition. It would be fascinating. Wanzi, she doesn't want to be poked and prodded. I doubt that. She can barely move. Perhaps we could learn more about the degeneration of skulls. Perhaps. But she could also belong to a new species. We know so little of the laws that dictate vampire reproduction. And maybe we should have come here before uh, figuring out what happened to Swansea. There's no studies in the Brotherhood? Were there any studies made by your order on the subject? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I will transmit your discovery to the Brotherhood's primate. He will be delighted. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the Ascalon Club? What do you know of the Ascalon Club? Uh, not as much as I would like. There have always been rumors about a secret society of vampires operating in the interests of the British Empire. Though I've never met a member. Well, I met one. I crossed paths with one. A terrifying creature going by the name of Fergal. He was sent by the Ascalon Club to exterminate the Skulls of the East End. By the stole, Jonathan. If vampires are eliminating their own progeny, then dark times are upon us. Darker than I've ever witnessed. Would, a, would Lady Ashbury know of them? Do you think Lady Ashbury would know of them? Jonathan, our beloved lady is not one for social dalliances, nor the assemblies of dark orders. She's a woman of superior taste and selective acquaintance. <laughs> I think she knows what the Ascalon Club is. Do you know an old Bridget? Does the name Old Bridget ring any bells? I never heard of her. Why? A patient of ours? Mm -mm. I must confess, I don't know them all. No, it's just someone I recently met. A fascinating woman. I had thought that perhaps... By the stole, Jonathan, you've met another vampire. I would appreciate an introduction, if that's the case. Well, she's a scowl. A pleasure as always, Edgar. She might not want to meet you, is that it? Yes, Jonathan? To what do I owe the pleasure? Don't worry, Edgar. The rep Is that true? Yep. yep, 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 yep. Okay. A pleasure. I Needed to check. All right. Let's go figure out this guy who was thrown off a building and had a wallet in our mother's brooch. 